Falco used to be the best, um, but Falco has been nerfed quite a bit. It's like Melee Falco. Is Falco the best in Melee? No. Is Falco really, really good in Melee? Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I think Falco could be the best in Melee. <laughs> oh, yeah, well... I think the top four. Uh, yeah, I think the top four in melee could all like be swapped in any order. Almost. Speaking of melee, and speaking of Falco, we got Gunslinger, the Peach versus Shirobi with the uh, with the chicken, and we will get to see uh, just how good these characters are. Another character only red fire for the tier one. But yeah, another kind of underrepresented character in uh, Peach. Um, pretty strong, but you you generally don't see a lot of Peach players these days. Probably because she got pretty heavily nerfed from when she was actually broken. Look, Gunslinger, keep strong. That's not Peach. Oh yeah, it's Daisy. <laughs> true. True, 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 true. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a Peach enthusiast. I don't believe in Daisy. No Daisy supremacy here. Don't say, Trobi, don't say, one of the mm. top players. Does Domo don't, don't agree? Don't, does Domo hate Daisy? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a Peach supremacist. I believe in Peach. Wait, what, Domo, what's, what up Mario Tennis? Mario... Tennis Daisy's the best Daisy says Domo. What is why? But Mario but now I'm so I curious know. on what you're talking about. Oh, well, nice dare from Shirobi taking it. Oh, stalling? Smart. That's not. That doesn't happen in melee. You have to do it over and over to stall in melee. Shift grab. In uh, SF2, you don't have to. It should have delayed the fair to cover all the techs. Yeah, all the techs but rolled to the left. Oh, living? why not down here so you don't have to uh, trade? No. Yeah, but Peach, Peach good, Stitch. generally. Oh, it went away, rip. Bye-bye. Yeah, rest in peace, Stitch. Yeah, Stitch is kind of weird in this game. Uh, you can't re-catch Stitch faces. You also cannot pick them up off the ground. Though, generally not spectacular to have Stitch faces, in my opinion. I think the ability to catch a turn up is much more important than the ability to have a turn that does a bunch of damage. I mean, I used to play Peach a whole lot uh, back in the day. But I play Peach in Melee now, so I have plenty of really, really bad and wrong Peach opinions. Right now, Shrobi doing a pretty good job keeping, uh, keeping Gunslinger boxed. We'll also have to see Shrobi might pull out. Oh, he's dead. Nice down tilt. Oh, I'm not quite killing. Unbelievable. I would have told you that down tilt. To that's, that's guaranteed a hundred. Not quite. Um, there it is. That down tilt's going to do it, though. Laser, laser. Into it. Shrobi taking the stock. This huh? will be an interesting match. Uh -oh, well, you dead. Up. No! Players are pretty solid. They have a lot of interesting, like, pockets that they're pretty strong with. Like, uh, Shrobi plays both spaces. Uh, Fox and Falco. Also, Donkey Kong. Uh, Gunslinger also has his DSS. So maybe we'll see some of that coming out for, you know, uh, other fun matchups. Right now, Shrobi looking really solid. Um, just punishing really well and keeping, uh, keeping Peach in the corner, which is definitely one of the things she can struggle with in this matchup. Kind of like in melee, where, uh, you don't have good uh, power shielding. It's almost hard for Peach to move around. You just have to float over the lasers. He just keeps spamming down throw jab because he knows Peach isn't going to attack. Yeah, well, you, you have to have the tech timing, and then lag. If you don't know it, if you don't know it, you're just going to down throw jab and get a free down throw. Just you basically killed him for grabbing them. Yeah, you can tech it though. Just have to. Yeah, but if bad. you don't know how, then it's, it's then it might as well be guaranteed against that opponent. Yeah, true. Also, some of his lag influence can be hard to detect it in lag. Chain grabs? Nope, we dropped it. I think some of them hard to chain grab to get, because there's a, the percent where it becomes a knockdown is actually harder to get three grabs. Well, well. Nice there. It covers the jump. It's uh, going to be easy as pie for, uh, for Gunslinger. And, uh, oh no, oh, Falco! Not that's like Shirobi. this! That, that's, that's literally the Shirobi! Just, oh, just SD, just do it. Yeah, that's... Sag. He's at zero. He, he just he respawned. It could also be a nice moment for all the, uh, for all my, for all my fellow old SF2 players, but that's, that's the classic. Unfortunate SD on game now one. Now it's Donkey Kong, he's oh, like, I don't want to SD. Yeah. Now it's a mid tier. Yep, yeah, back to back to the mid tier Donkey Kong. Yeah, I mean uh, this is a little bit more of an interesting matchup Falco's in my not opinion. Good enough, so because Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong can body Peach pretty hard, but Peach can do just the same back to Donkey Kong, um, and it's, it's it can be a pretty high pitched or high pitched a high intensity matchup. 
depending on how good the Peach's punish game is and whether the Peach can use the turnips to uh, complete or to uh, win neutral. And also, you can use it for compass as well. It's pretty nuts. But yeah, Stroby definitely has been playing a lot more of the Donkey Kong recently in tournaments than the Spaceys, so this is a pretty understandable switch. Ooh, that turnip, though. Big snipe. So you're taking the lead. This is definitely a, a matchup I've played quite a bit, especially back in older patches, back when Donkey Kongs used to run Supreme, when Bash was playing with other Donkey Kongs. Nice to play a lot of Peach, and I would run this matchup a lot. And it's definitely a fun matchup to play, in my opinion. Both is sides. Donkey Kong the most represented, like, character slash pocket character of the top definitely players? Definitely the it's, most, seems, pop, most it popular It seems like the, the most represented by a, a lot. Or maybe like... Uh, definitely the most popular pocket. Very easy to play. Um, has lots of high tier potential. Lots of good... Ma a pretty good matchup spread in general. Um, yeah. It's, it's the combination of easy character plus good. And uh, that just... Yeah. Punch? No punch. I was about to say that near punch is a pretty common tool used by like Shirobi and other top DKs. I've seen him do it quite a bit. This goes for a raw though. There should have been... Yeah, not quite. Nice up smash. That's a really smart anti-air. Gonna take the stock. You'll love to see it. A nice fair. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> you can't just sell the platform versus Donkey Kong. He'll just run over there and edge for it. Nice jabs. Very smart. Just knowing that Shirobi is going for these grabs using these fast grounded options. Air re-grab, and he's dead. Up throw, up air. Damn, that was some great higher tier potential combo. Yeah, <laughs> it's DK's combo game is good, and uh, that's that's essentially what he is. He's just a character with really solid neutral, um, really broken combo game, good recovery, um, can kill you pretty much whenever he wants to. Definitely a strong character. If I played uh, this game, a, I'd probably pocket DK too. Yeah, most most top players have a pocket DK because he's just so easy, um, and he has like, a like matchup spread. The, um, it looks like generally. what he does in Smash Four and Melee, except just better across the board. Oh yeah, like in it's every just way. melee DK. If you gave melee DK a real nair and actual like like move frame data, uh, unfortunately holding in on the down smash gonna take a little bit of damage for that. A lot of aggressive play right now. Both throwing out, killing hitboxes. Do we die for this? Good, good drift back, knowing that gunslinger was gonna go for the fair. Down for fair. Yep. Oh, he gets, he gets the tech, which is actually good. He gets a little longer, but that one should kill. Yep. Shirobi going out in style by SDing on the killing That's a better than Falco, but mainly because Falco is key. Falco is just... Falco's good. Falco is good on a theoretical perfection level, um, and DK is just so easy. It's, it's, it's kind of that simple, as awful as that might sound. It really is. Like, Falco is great, but he's hard. And no, effort. I wouldn't. I, I, don't, I don't think pills are hard. You just have to like, just play alone. Yeah. It's one of those things. If you play like, Donkey Kong, you just burn around, you match the Z button, eventually yeah, you kill them. Yeah, like with Falco, it's like, it kind of reminds me of like fighting a noob Falco in melee. Like, if they don't know the timing yet, they get shift grab and stuff. But like, if they've practiced it alone, it's like, it's hard to deal with. Because they can just do their same flow, try to save buttons. And then yep. it's really, really bad when you get to that top level. And risk, yep. In terms of risk reward. Yep. Uh, oh, nice there. Damn. You just just calling out the obliterate. recovery option, just going for that stomp. Yeah, DK's stomp is uh, has a silly amount of knockback. It'll guys, guys, I know pills aren't back. real. I was just giving an example. <laughs> it, top level doesn't really even do it. They do shine grab and other things, safer things. But yeah, either way, the DK working out a little bit better than the Falco. Sticking with it, going back to Tower of Salvation. Shirobi so far doing really well. One thing, I'm used to seeing the DK do down B after they land, and it's not doing Oh, yeah. It. The down B is a good option. The uh, it covers not lots doing of tech it. For characters with really bad tech rolls, it covers everything. But for characters with really good tech rolls, it won't cover everything. You have to space it. Yeah, but even then, it, even if you're not going to cover everything, it still covers like 3 to 4. Yeah. Which is still and really, really good for selling the safeness, you know? Yeah, this rinse for P edge guard from Gunslinger looking good. We have to kind of... Weird decision. It would have killed if you got the sweet spot, but wasn't spaced perfectly. Up there, fair. Gonna do it. Donkey Kong just gets to kill you. And, uh. Yeah. So, uh, let's see if Gunslinger can, uh, can find a way back here. Just 
cranked even in the corner, but it drove you landing. Seems like a missed input on the death throw, but... Should be dead here? Oh, messes up his turn up down to the platform, just catches it. Go there. Oh, he's, right he's dead. Side. He went for side B punch, because he was just like, autopiloting the punch after the side B if it connected, because it's a berry. And he just jumps into it. And he's forced to with DK. With his pocket DK. DK broke. <laughs> DK broke. I spare. Gonna take it. This is the best so, mid tier uh, I've ever seen. This is pretty much a lead, um, from what I've been told. But yeah, this 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 looks hard to get back. Even like a really solid Peach player would have a really tough time getting the proper punches to kill. Fair up air. Fair. <laughs> oh, that is gonna do it. Yeah, absolutely insane. Di <laughs> Di a little questionable. He's cheap. I think. He's cheap. <laughs> DK, DK insane. Yeah, DK punch game so pretty nuts. At super hey, high grab. level. At like super high level, there's counterplay against DK. <laughs> what do you, what do you think? That's not balanced. 